So they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So I'm down here in Ilford, London, and I'm visiting the local chicken shop. But first, the crepe check, bombao. On foot today, the 510 Hellcat, stealth rubber, premium levers, red inserts. Let's get into it. Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the Gravity Shed. Today I'm going to share with you a little hack that I have. For some background information, for years and years and years I used to ride and race on a Shimano DX clip pedals. Fantastic pedals and I also used the Shimano DX shoes with like rubbery flap that goes over the laces. Great. So once these broke I then switched to the Shimano PD pedals. Now they were fantastic, smaller and lighter than the DX. I went to flats for a while and I was running flats just on a pair of rubbishy trainers and they weren't that good. So then I bought some Shimano Saints, which I thought were the all singing, all dancing boyos of the old pedal world. An issue I found, however, which is highlighted in a lot of my videos is, but I'm having real snags getting clipped in with me 510s. I'm not exactly sure which 510s these are, I'll be honest with you. What you will notice though, the front pins make absolutely no contact, pointless even having them in. And the rear pins, to be honest with you, they don't really do anything anyway. Oh, dropping in, baby. As long as I can clip in. I seem to be taking my foot out more to dab as I'm sort of skidding out around corners. So what I'm going to do, rather than go out and buy another pair of 510s or like under blooming quid, I'm going to use a little hack. I've got a pair of Shimano cross country shoes. They came with these little cleat covers. These have just been sat in my toolbox for a long time. Now I did, however, have a look on the internet for 510 like Hellcat or whatever actual cleat covers. I looked about three weeks ago and I found a pair going brand new for 50 quid just for two cleat covers. Now, I've tried to search for those to get the picture on this video and I can't find them, but what I did manage to find is a link to an eBay page where they're selling an official pair of 510 ones for a tenner. The rarer than actual rocking or shit. It's crazy. So my thought process is, even though you've got this big massive hole in the bottom, whenever I'm studying my pedal, you know, none of the spikes or the pins are going to come into any contact with that middle section. But I do want to have some kind of protection so that my pins aren't gouging out the plastic over the time that I'm going to be using this. I don't want to cause any unnecessary damage. So I'm going to remove my cleat. I'm going to fit the little I really didn't think there. this was actually like a big so. issue in the world of mountain biking, but I looked on the internet for some inspiration to try and get the correct ones. And I found this on a forum where someone's used some sag group, now, like hard set and putty and made their own. Pretty much the last five years of my downhill racing. I swore I'd never go back to flats. But I think the issue is, I've always been a rider that relied too much on fitness. I'd steamroll my way through sections, knowing that as soon as I get through the section, my feet are still clipped in the correct place and I'll be on the power like <laughs> Johnny Bauer. I want now to rely on smoothness and line choice. And I think that flats are gonna be the way forward for me. So, there we go, ready to rock. Flats are gonna go back on. Should be groovy, gonna do some comparison videos. Gonna go back to the trails that I've rode recently with clips that I have timed on Strava and both on some of my old videos. And uh, I'm gonna see how I stack up, especially on the technical, real steep stuff. Um, hope that saves someone a couple of quid or you know, helps someone if they really do wish they had bought flat shoes and they actually have clipped ones. <laughs> Thrill, have a good time. Like, share, subscribe, get riding. Awesome. Mm. Damn wings is piff. Whatever piff means. Bro.